Hello, this is Ira Whiteside, and uh, <clears throat> I'd like to give you a little backgrounder on a uh, set of APIs known as EZ API, uh, written by uh, a tester in Microsoft. What I'd like to do is uh, just give you a quick overview in about three or four minutes. Uh, again, applications that I'm working with and technology with my uh, partner, Jordan March, from an ABI perspective. Uh, what you see in front of you is a package, pretty straightforward package. You can see what we're doing here. If we back up, is we have got within this package one control flow, a data transformation task. We've got a source. If we open it up real quick, uh, you can see that we're just previewing and looking at people data here, person data, if you will. And we're writing that out to a flat file destination. We've got all the mappings in here associated. And uh, we've also got the appropriate data connections created. To typically, go through and create this package would probably take you uh, at least a half an hour or so in terms of making sure you've got all the connections set up and uh, keyed in and good to go. Uh, what I'd like to do is show you how to use a template and create that package uh, quite a bit easier and set yourself up in a position in the future to make changes without using the bids interface. So we're going to look at a small C Sharp application here. So we've got an application called uh, Program Simple Data Flow. And uh, there are numerous references to this on the web and samples that are available. Uh, this is one of the standard templates for ECABI. I'm not going to go into that now. I'll, I'll do that in a separate video. But the premise behind ECAPI is they've written an API that gives you standard usable templates for the kinds of activities you would normally expect to do. If you see the name of this particular template, you can see that it's easy OLADYB2 file package. So again, there are a series of templates covering a myriad of areas, and we'll explore those in the future. For now, given that you have this template available, and uh, you've installed Easy API, and again, if you check my blog site, iro1whiteside.com, I'll post this video up there and give you some links as to where uh, all this information is available. But if we break into this and say, okay, <coughs> excuse me, how do we create that? What you see here is uh, we are setting uh, our variables, setting the connection strings, uh, and then setting up what we're going to need to do to actually create this particular package. In this case, uh, it's merely a matter of here setting some properties in terms of uh, the source table, the connection strings of file, the fact that we're going to overwrite it. And then within the body, setting in the, uh, again, after instantiating the EZ e e OLADB to file package, uh, as an object, setting the connection, localhost, works to person address. The output is results.txt. Console write, uh, we're going to update our little status here, and it's going to actually say, uh, Package executed. It goes to result status, and our package. We're going to we're going to execute the package. And we're also going to create the package. Right now, it's going to go into this particular directory, and it's going to say simple AC feed package data flow two. And for that, we will add the word demo for now. We'll uh, save that, and then we'll run our little program here. Uh, all in all, about uh, 12 or 13 lines of code. So what's happening now is uh, the SMO, the system management object, is executing uh, uh, using the object model and the API for uh, easy API. Sorry for the buzzer in the background. Uh, and what we've done is execute this package and created a new package. If I jump into bids real quick, you can see over here, We've got the package here that we were originally looking at. If we come up here and we decide we're going to expand this and we're going to add a new item. An existing item, I'm sorry. And we will take a look here and uh, see that if we look at the dates that we now have in our directory, a new package, simple ABZ package, simple data flow demo, created at the time of this video, 921. 651 and if we open that guy up 
interestingly enough, you'll see that uh, there's a little bit of an error here. Let's open that package. We'll try to run it. Uh, and just as a quick example of uh, how real it is, there is one problem. What we did was use some functionality where we automatically map columns as you're doing bids. And what it's telling us is it's got one particular column that's not supported. There is an image column in here. Right here. I'm sorry, not an image column, a spatial location column. Uh, again, easily added in within the edits for column mappings. We need to remove that column. And then uh, all things going well. The D package should execute. It does. 19,000 rows. So, again, thank you very much. You can check us out at actualitybusinessintelligence.com, which is under construction, or irawarrenwhiteside.com, uh, or datamarts.com. Thank you very much.